What's up guys? So we're here at round two of Formula Drift Road Atlanta. Um, this track is pretty cool. Um, it's definitely uh, not like all the other tracks. We've got uh, elevation changes and uh, pretty high speed entry. In the past we haven't really done too good at this track, but I would consider it to be one of my favorite tracks, especially since this is a track that uh, I you know, grew up watching and this is where I decided that I wanted to run Formula Drift I was coming here and watching. <laughs> Hopefully today we can uh, put down a good qualifying score, maybe try to get in the top half again. For tomorrow we get some good battles in and maybe uh, go farther in competition in uh, Long Beach. Hopefully, maybe we keep the car together a little bit. So, Huge thanks to everyone. We did get the car back together from Long Beach. Um, everything seems pretty straight, at least straight enough right now. We'll maybe fix a couple things in a couple after round three Orlando when we have some more time in between events. Go from there, but yeah. to uh, contend with a track that they haven't really, you know, they haven't practiced in these conditions. So Here we go. Jonathan Hurst coming down the chute. Let's see what you got. Now comes into that front cliff. Oh, nice shot. Oh, yeah. Jonathan loves loves the pop. Big, big poppy guy. Call him Puff Daddy. Pop Daddy. Here we go. Jonathan Hurst. Oh, ah. Yo. Holy cow. Gunshots ring out like a bell. Now past that inside clip, I'm just stunned. I feel I feel like I, I can't even hear, hear myself think when that car runs. <laughs> like you know, just it's so loud. You feel it in your chest yeah, as dude. it goes by. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually duck. I think like you know, took a, took a wrong turn in a bad neighborhood or yeah. something. It sounded like he clutched in. I don't know if that was that clutch kicks here at inside clip two. It was like pa 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 pa. Yeah. Pa. It was really uh, pa pa. He's your pa pa. Pa 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 pa. I'd like to see more th uh, maybe consistent throttle usage through that area. <laughs> What's up? So we just got done with qualifying here, uh, here at Road Atlanta. Hey, like I said right before, uh, going into qualifying, but uh, just making a bunch of, like, my driving was just not doing well. I was very down on myself, wasn't very happy at all. Didn't have a lot of confidence going into qualifying, which is not a good feeling. Luckily though, um, I knew what I had to do, what corrections I need to make, and I made them happen. Got an 81, still not that good. I uh, wanted to at least try and be uh, 85 or up, but not too bad. So we got uh, Brandon Sorensen next in top 32. Hopefully it goes well. So we chase first, which I kind of wanted to do just because my lead runs weren't feeling too good. So it'd be great to just get a solid aggressive chase put right in. You know, I'm going to send it, you know, it's 100% uh, top 32 and try and get in the top 16 and see where we go from there. So, it's Saturday morning here at Atlanta. We're uh, changing the front hubs. Uh, the passenger one from the wreck was bent, and I didn't really realize that until yesterday when I was driving the car and going down the hill, the wheel was wobbling a little bit. So, just doing a nut and bolt check before uh, practice, warm up today before uh, top 32. Um, everything's going good though, car seems to be great. Uh, crew's doing good, so we'll see how top 32 goes. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's up guys? I'm not really sure how to work this camera, but Jacob told me to make a video, so we're doing it. We've uh, been out here at practice. Like I said before, Atlanta doesn't really treat us too well. Thankfully the car and everything's doing great. I'm just really struggling on the initiation and the lead runs, so uh, which is obviously not good for uh, qualifying or competition. I'm able to keep up. I got pace with people. Car seems really gripped up, uh, just struggling on the initiation and it's uh, wanting to lag a little bit just from me being on the foot brake and the handbrake a little bit at the same time before the inner clip and then when I'm picking up throttle, I'm not got the engine revved up enough to get going mainly because we got a little too much grip in the car but at the same time we need that grip we're trying to just uh, sit and relax in before qualifying and uh, hopefully throw down a good run uh, I've literally laid down like one or two laps in the lead that have been even you know somewhat okay so really disappointed in myself but uh, I'm just gonna look ahead and try and do better and next up it is Brandon Sorensen and Jonathan Hurst Brandon will lead he qualified 15th Jonathan Hurst qualified 18th and uh, notably, Jonathan Hurst, uh, you can't hear yourself think when that thing runs sometimes. So uh, it is is—it is one of the loudest. Pop, lock, pop, a diddy pop. It certainly is. We'll see how it goes here. Uh, two V8s, right, that yep. we have coming up. And we'll see how they perform against one another right now. Brandon Sorensen will lead. Jonathan Hurst giving chase. The cash raise the AZ Rags. BMW coming down. Inset versus inside clip. Jonathan Hurst got a little too aggressive taking that inside line. He had to back off. Now that's not going to set him up. Now into that second outside zone, Brandon Sorensen. Look at that, just riding right the edge of the track. Unfortunately, Jonathan Hurst took that shallower line. That's it was kind of over before he started. He did gain. He did gain some grit distance back. Right now, we are visiting the second half of the Sorensen Hurst battle. So let's see uh, how this unfolds with now Jonathan Hurst. The AZ Rags, Cash Racing, BMW, Pride of Paducah going against Las Vegas Zone, 18 years old, Brandon Sorensen, United States Air Force, BMW. Coming down, middle line, wide swing there by Hurst, into that front clip. Both of them put him on the front clip, nice and tidy. You can see Jonathan Hurst into that second outside zone, Brandon Sorensen right there. Oh, oh boy. boy. We have contact again. What's cracking here? The Man. drone is in the air, so we will get yep. some good footage from it, hopefully. That is great. So let's let's see what happened there. Man, we're only in 32. We're already seeing uh, quite a bit of contact here. All right, let's see how this transpires here, the second half of this battle after we saw Cash, excuse me, Jonathan Hurst, Cash Racing, BMW. Getting inside of Brandon and now. Brandon getting inside of Hurst and score it. Here we go. Who's moving on? Sorensen or Hurst? Slide him left for Sorensen, right for Hurst. We got it one more time. We got Brandon Sorensen getting the win. Brandon Sorensen. Birthday weekend continues as he.
through top 32 against uh, Brandon Sorensen. Unfortunately, I was pushing a little hard on uh, the chase, which I was chasing first. Hit him a little bit on initiation. Somehow I salvaged it and made uh, made a lot of corrections and cut the line to get back to his door so I could finish the second half of the battle on his door. Rubbed him even a little bit coming back through transition, going back uh, down the hill. And then in my lead, I was just like, at this point, I knew I was at fault. I was just gonna do my best and just try to throw down a run for the fans and also try to throw down a good lead run. And uh, man, I was on point for having my best lead lap of the weekend. I filled all of zone two, was going to zone three, and Brandon hit my front wheel and spun me or I would've kept going. Fortunately, the judges seemed that it was shared fault. Unfortunately, we didn't have a protest for him and stuff uh, in time. We talked to him a little bit after, uh, unfortunately, it's just how it is, and a little unprepared, I guess. And, and you know, this is just a lesson for us moving forward, and hopefully we'll do better at the next round in Orlando. So we'll see. didn't tell me to get his logo off the bumper, I would have never hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs>